What's happening, you beautiful people on the world wide web? I'd like to welcome you on into the I Paint Creatures YouTube channel. I'm also known as IPC. And of course, that stands for I Paint Creatures because that's what I do. And it was a very defining point when I came up with that name because it sent me on, uh, you know, the the depth in the central part of my artistic journey in life and I've been just enjoying myself in full gratitude for all of you the art world and being able to you know doing what I truly love and driven by and service people and make you know perfect right products and deliver perfect right service you know and live in abundance and joy and love and today I'd like to address a quote by the famous Albert Einstein and he always has these quotes that are very interesting to me because, you know, he, he basically created, you know, the law of relativity and it's pretty much scientific and it's logic. But most of his quotes address, you know, the power of the mind and the imagination, the infinite levels of, you know, that the imagination doesn't know any limits and can't distinguish by a lot of hard edges out here in the physical world. Right, so Albert, he says, creativity is intelligence having fun. And I'm showing you my symphony book right here. It's a 90 page book, and it was definitely my intelligence having fun. And one way to frame that is, you know, like this uh, drawing that I'm showing here, it's just a, a combination of a lot of illustrators that I was inspired growing up, you know, the famous Stanley Mouse and the famous Rick Griffin, you know, the artist that did a lot of Jimi Hendrix artwork and a lot of the original rock and roll posters from the 60s and 70s and album covers. And uh, definitely always inspired me because it was a form, I think it was a precursor to like a lot of street art and graffiti art and, you know, fantastical illustration. As I, most of you know, I went on to work with uh, George Lucas at Lucasfilm and really opened uh, really what I love to do and draw from my imagination and you know, sample from this world and, and draw all the possibilities. I'm also a big uh, fan of the creators like Gene Roddenberry of Star Trek and, and behind the whole story writing of that. And um, I never was really a fan of the end products, the stories and everything, although I enjoy them and, and find a great relief. I find mostly inspiration for that. And, and that is definitely my creativity, you know, uh, in full action and, and given the intelligence inside of our mind the, the ability to you know stop look and listen and take in and observe and and uh you know get out of that judgment mind get to a higher mind of the discernment and uh intelligence having fun is when you fully just engage in the creativity i always like the metaphor of like go up to the water look at it you know um make some uh you know high positive. is it cold is it warm you know do I have the strength to float and swim? But at one point, you got to kind of catch yourself off guard, you know, kind of like this illustration I'm doing. Like, uh, you know, I do what's called intuitive coloring and I just start to color it. And um, it's more like the only science behind it is the application of color theory to make sure, you know, my uh, fantastical creatures and and uh, characters I have in this illustration, they pop and, you know, like I have candles and wings and, you know, rocket jets and all kinds of uh, musical instruments embedded. So sometimes it can get pretty much out there, but that's where I truly see what Albert Einstein is saying here. My intelligence is having fun because intelligence, uh, I think is a, a double-edged sword, right? Because you can use your intelligence and, you know, your knowledge of the world mixed in with your ability to have vision and insight and use your imagination, right? But sometimes it can kind of lock you in and you can start thinking real negative that you, you just don't have what it takes to, you know, go the distance or deliver something you have in your mind. And that's why I, th I believe art is a big discovery, at least for me. And I love uh, just revealing what's going on. And like right here, I'm doing negative painting and watercolor and just putting a lot of blooms and bursts of color behind it. But applying, you know, my intelligence in the sense that I know color theory real well because I did a lot of graphic design and, and I've worked in a lot of places where I had to apply a lot of, you know, the kind of the craft and skill. 
But now that I'm doing a lot of fantastical illustration and and telling stories out of my mind, I definitely lock into you know letting my intelligence, my logic, you know, my experience uh, have fun. And and you first of all is the creativity. Just jump in and get going. So thank you all for watching the video. And I'll talk to you real soon. Come back, leave some comments, build more community, meet people through this channel. And I'll see you out there on the internet. Peace.